Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about Sky Climber's new Kickstarter. Now, it literally just was launched 10 minutes ago as of this recording. So, I've not been able to go through anything in the Kickstarter. It's just been purely mic microphone setup, blah, blah, blah. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be playing this trailer first, and I'm going to have the link in the description below if you want to go to this Kickstarter. So, I'm going to have a long, this is going to be a longer video uh, instead of my shorter Kickstarter videos. So, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Let's just go into it. All right, that's it, I guess. Yes, it is. So we got to see, uh, of course, it's at seven percent, but it just started twelve minutes ago, so no big deal. But you see, uh, how open world it looks like. In fact, you can look up top, build your kingdom, choose your class, and tame monsters in this procedurally generated open world RPG. And you can build a kingdom. You can raise your partner. You saw the monsters have a pretty cool design. There's a few others I saw on that they talked about like yesterday on Twitter. So let's just keep going down. So oh, stretch goals locked, locked, locked. So they have this many stretch goals. We don't know what they are. I'm sure once we get past 100%, we will know what they are. So the game, build your kingdom, choose your class, and evolve your companion in this city-building open-world RPG that takes place in a procedurally generated anime-themed metaverse. So, real-time based building, villagers will spawn in your stronghold, manage currency and resources for your kingdom. Now we see him mining. Chop trees and mine for stone. Okay, so there are actual, it isn't just managing resources or like making villagers do uh, resource gathering. You actually get to uh, get, gather resources. So choose your class. You have paladin, mage, and ranger. Pick from one of the three unique classes. Each has its own unique skill, tree, and statistics, unique class armor, and weapon sets. So a paladin wields double-handed swords, equips heavy armor sets. I'm guessing that, considering they even mentioned heavy, I am going to mention, or I am going to uh, guess, that that means there is an effect on your speed or stuff like that. Uh, Melee-oriented skill tree. So we have defense, attack, speed. We can see, I don't know what this thing in the bottom left is, but it's a shield, so I'm guessing defensive stuff. And then bottom right, and this is the paladin sign, I am guessing. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking dude. And the sword's pretty awesome too. You can see a little, like, I forgot what you call it. A little area where it's been broken. So mage. So, okay. So mage. It is, will, so will gauntlets and staffs equip mage robes. And support slash aggro oriented skill tree. So that means you get to choose, I'm guessing, between support or aggro. Like you get to specialize, I guess. Uh, one's definitely different from the other. One's back in the back. Like you gotta be in the back. Um, one's not. So, but this is what he looks like. And you see he's actually got a shield or something. Because remember, he is, Paladin is two-handed. So he couldn't have this. But he does have this, and I didn't know why I... Just look at this uh, speed, the uh, stats. Horrible speed. Horrible defense, higher speed. But let's go on to Ranger. 
So wields long bows, equip cloaks, and stealth oriented tree. Skill tree. That's pretty half balanced, you know? It's not really good in one, not really bad in another. So survive. Fight against mob enemies in groups or alone. Farm and uh, or hunt resources to battle hunger. Build barracks and command units to defend your kingdom. So you have your monsters. Choose of one choose one of three unique elemental starters mix and match with your class to create unique combos use your companion in real-time combat so these monsters are called sentius now it is interesting while you do just have three classes you do have starters or rather monsters that you can use as well which completely changes how you can play you know that actually can help you with a handicap or for or I'm sure there's plenty of things where you can make him be the aggro and you just snap from behind. I'm sure there's many possibilities when it comes to these monsters. So every dynasty, which are is the dynasty, remember, it is a kingdom building, civilization kind of building thing. Uh, every dynasty will feature a legendary and mental dragon such as Arexos from the Draconian dynasty. I'm guessing that's big boy here. No. So this is going to be Rector. Which is a plasma type Sentius, which is interesting. So I guess a spit plasma. No, 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 no. This is Araxos right here. But Rector here, which freaking looks cool. Um, this is Rector. Every dynasty will feature a set of three unique starter lines. So this is magma. So oh, that's what the sign was. So this is magma, and with magma. You have three different options. This is the end evolution, final evolution, I meant, and the final evolution for this one. So you already get to see that. Here is Akaneko. Aka. Why am I messing up as says Akaneko. The adorable red panda. Which, if you've not seen red panda in real life, they are, in fact, ador adorable. Ride your monsters as mounts. Oh. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but that's pretty freaking cool. I did not expect that. Uh, explore. Oh, there's ocean. There's water. Uh, the procedurally generated game world provides infinite possibilities. Discover new biomes, each with its own fauna and flora. Uncover a, an ancient story embedded in the world. Now, I'm probably just going to get through these elements. I'm going to go through the tiers, and then I'm going to go back through the page. So we can go ahead and get through some of the stuff. But elements, you have plasma, magma, terra, aqua, void, frost, air, and Gaia. Which is going to be like... I guess plants. Well, let's see. Oh, did, and Nutra. I wonder what the um. Hmm. I'm guessing a cross is their weakness. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if like Gaia's good against Aqua, Plasma's good against Void, Magma's good against Frost, Terra maybe good against. I don't know. I, I I'm not sure. But it is interesting, and I'm interested in knowing the matchups for that. But what, that's one, two, three, then six. So that's eight, nine tops. So there's a lot of possibilities in here already. <clears throat> Excuse me. And dynasties. Dynasties across the game world progressed, uh, progressed untouched from one another until a great disturbance caused intervention from an alien race. Oh. A group of ancient humanoids, the elders from a star system, a uh, far star system warped to your planet and initiate the sentinels a group of men and beasts chose to fight the void and restore order to the universe the elders command their own robotic units mimicking the anatomy of any planet they arrive on while also infiltrating the geopolitical landscape of each dynasty own robotic units is that going to be some sentious like this rector we saw up here i wonder um Actually, I'm going to go through uh, to multiplayer, and then I'll go to the tiers. So, the world, a completely procedural game that regenerates over time as you harvest its resources. Multiple biomes per region spread out from the epicenter following a realistic distribution based on elevation. Each biome has unique fauna and foliage, which can be hunted, harvested, or tamed. Okay. Kingdoms and races will populate biomes randomly, allowing you to interact with the settlements or recruit them to your dynasty. Showy Choi uh, landmarks such as terminus access points and relics populate the map as well, providing you with uh, providing you will points with points for your skill tree along with fast travel 
locations. Combat. Bring your companions with you to real-time combat scenarios. Each class features a unique skill tree providing different playstyle options. All three starter companions have a unique skill have unique skill trees as well, so you can mix and match your class based on your companion. So your freaking companions also have skill trees. That it's I like this. I mean it's simple things, but that's how you get complex and rich gameplay, honestly. You don't necessarily have some complex stuff, you just have to have many options you can build upon. Emergent gameplay systems can be used to combat Burn enemies with the grass, attract lightning, or use a boulder to your advantage. Okay, so you can use your environment to your advantage. I, I like that too. The fact that, uh, burn enemies with grass, so the grass can catch fire, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to go down to, uh, multiplayer, and then I'm going to, like I said, go through. So, let's see. At launch, we have, uh, we plan to co-op functionality, to have co-op functionality so you can share your world with other players and play through the survival slash base building game loop with or without them. In addition to this, we are considering RTS slash PvP game mode where you will be where you will spawn in with the race of your choice only to complete uh, compete for resources and land while combating the natural enemy AI and weather. See stretch goals. Ooh, so that was hidden, but now we know that this is one of the stretch goals. Keep your can uh, your character persistent no matter what you do. Take your class and companion to you with co two co-op matches, PvP, or even multiplayer ranked matches. Our biggest stretch goal is a battle royale, which will be a full-scale base building and combat style arena for you and many friends. I hope to God they meet this stretch goal because that sounds extremely freaking cool. I'd be interested in that. So actually, let's go. So this is just a small company stuff. So we'll go to this side and look at their well tiers so the first one is supporter thank you for backing the campaign you'll receive a digital copy of the original soundtrack hd wallpapers and a dynasty themed usb drive now it's for 15 usd it's only limited to 50 to 100 people so you have the early bird game edition discount copy of the game of your choice uh, on your platform of choice kickstarter special offer PC expected to ship in Q4 of 2021, consoles, mobile, and Stadia to follow in mid-2020. Okay, so 1,000 of those, four days to go on that. So make sure you go here if you want it. Right now, it's 20 bucks. Go ahead and just get it. Go ahead and get it. It's 20 bucks, discounted, and it isn't like it's coming out in 2024 or 2023. It's coming out this year. You know, for a console, and then mid of next year, it's, it's not bad. For a lot of these kickstarts, that's not bad at all. So you have your standard edition, which is uh, 10 bucks more. Wait, wait, did you get something else? Um, copy of the game on your platform of choice. Digital art book, digital OST includes previous rewards. So it looks like the digital art book is unique to the standard edition. And I keep scrolling down right here, I don't mean to. So, the Alpha Edition, share a copy with one of your friends and play the Alpha together. PC Alpha expected, expected to ship in Q2 2021. So, you'll need to, um, if you want to get access to the Alpha, that's going to be 45 USD. So, you get two digital game keys, you get two Alpha keys. So, there's no Alpha key if you get the Standard Edition or the Early Bird Game Edition. Now, physical edition, physical edition of, for the platform of your choice. So you get HD wallpapers, two digital, all the stuff you get before, plus the physical edition. Okay, so you have an 85 book uh, deluxe edition, which get a plushie to snuggle with. So you get everything plus a starter plushie. And premium edition. Uh, also choose one of 10 screenshots for a canvas print. So you get everything plus a canvas print. A 12 inch foot long canvas print. Uh, so, up to 250, you're going to receive a game themed Bluetooth controller for your phone that can also be used for PC. Now, that's pretty freaking cool. Um, now, it says here, if you notice, 12 inch canvas print. This says here, in game items, custom game. So, it looks like there may be two things that you actually get with this one. And then you have the Tamer Edition for 450 USD. Start with all three Elemental Starters in-game. Receive all three custom plushies 
get an adorable Akaneko uh, t-shirt. So you get three starter plushies on top of that with in-game items and custom controller along with the, all three uh, elemental starters. That's pretty freaking cool. And then if you pledge $1,000 or more, you are in the designer edition, the designer tier. Work with the devs to help with the concept design and implementation of a Sentius elemental monster. So you get to design a Sentius yourself. And then you have what looks like the final tier, which is the legendary edition. You will receive a 12-inch 3D printed statue of Aroxos, the legendary dragon. Along with five, a five-piece canvas wall art of your choice between three screenshots. In addition, you will have access to a shiny variant of Raxos, the Legendary Dragon, and a Kickstarter-only armor set to match. So that's going to be a 12-inch 3D printed Raxos, the Legendary Dragon statue. And that's all of the uh, tiers. Um, I'm thinking about supporting... I, I, if I had more money, I would absolutely support it. Don't get me wrong. And even though I don't, I'm probably still <laughs> going to support it. So, let's just go through the rest of this Kickstarter page, which is about Paratrope, a small company based out of the U.S., prides itself on lean development environment with a focus on sustainable long-term experiences. We have, 3D print, we have a 3D printed storefront that helps supplement our development costs and serves as a production partner for game-related products. I love that. That's what it's all about is innovation, you know. Don't just be pig-headed. I mean, it's you, you got you got to be agile. You know, you got to adjust. That's what they definitely do. We've collaborated with the following companies: Oculus, PBS, Downpour Interactive. Okay, so they tell you the team: Justin Bocchino. I, I I know I'm messing up your name. I'm very sorry. Teas Kumar. Okay, it is. Is it Teas Kumar? Teas Tejas. I can't tell if that's an I, J, or what. I think that's a J, and even then I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. I'm horrible at names. So, it is promoted by Backer Kit, which is a pretty good marketing company, if you don't know. And this is just the risks and challenges crap, where it really doesn't matter, to be quite honest. I think, except for legal reasons. But So, let's go ahead and go back through this real quick uh, to cover it. So, it just launched... Uh, 27 minutes ago. Don't know the stretch goals yet, but you have the game, which is build your kingdom, choose your class, evolve your companion. This city building slash open world RPG that takes place in a procedurally generated anime themed metaverse. You get to gather resources. You have paladin, mage, and ranger. Here they are. They talk about it, and then you have tame monsters. You can pick an element, and you have three options in each element. Now this is a legendary dragon, and this is Rector. The plasma type Sentius. Now here's the magma starters. These three, these three, and these three. And this is Akaneko, uh, which is a red panda Sentius. You can ride your mounts. You can explore, which this is pretty cool. The fact that there's a ship. Uh, I hope that we can just ride it around. I hope there can be ship battles. Elements. There are nine elements all together. You can make a dynasty. It's all about fighting these aliens. And the way they look at it, the what what it looks like they're going to try to do is have multiplayer. I mean, this seems like, and they were talking about do it with your friends, which was a stretch goal. But it seems like you can set up a server with your friends is what it looks like they're aiming at. I'm not sure, but that's what it sounds like. So if you're interested in Sky Climbers, go in the description below. I'm going to have a link to this Kickstarter. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want more updates on stuff like this. And yeah, I mean... Go check it out. You've listened to this whole Kickstarter video. You're obviously interested. Go back. Even if it's just for the early bird edition. Go back. Anyways, that's all for this video. I appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like on it. It really helps this video, and I appreciate it. It gets it out to more people. And I'll see you in the next video. Retro on.